Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland and I thought it's about time I did an art piece with resin. I am not by any means um, experienced or know much about resin and its art pieces but I just thought for a change I'd give it a go. I've got all of those, uh, I think they're 45 centimetre round pine rounds so I thought perfect to actually pour resin. What I did on this one, you see the kind of light bluish, I put just a clear a, a resin on with a bit of turquoise in it thinking it would be my first coat on there but it nowhere near covered the colour. Um, so I decided that I'm going to put paints down in the colours of resin that I want to put over it and then I'll let the paint dry. So I put that um, sandy colour down and now I'm just painting it directly, not with any um, diluted or pouring resin, just di directly from those bottles of acrylic paint uh, in the Global Acrylics. So I'm going to yeah, just layer the colours on that round, kind of how I want the resin colours to go, and then I will let that dry. So we'll um, speed it along and go on to the next stage. Radio. I think I've mixed it well enough now. Oh, I spilt a bit here, but I'll just rub it in my board. I haven't um, done, uh, I've painted the sides of my board, so I'm hopefully going to allow some of the resin to go over the sides of my board. So I'm going to start off with the darker blue here. And I am absolutely going to use my fingers, I find it the best to kind of itself levels anyway. So as long as you've got your surface flat, that's a beautiful color. I just find it better to do it with my fingers than any other tool. I'm actually gonna go over the sides with my fingers too. Just to get some resin on the sides. Definitely is a messy process, hi. And then I'll go along with the lighter, the lighter one. Maybe I should just put the colours on and then blend in with my gloves from one to the other, maybe. And then there's like that greeny blue, so different colors in the ocean. I guess it's probably the thing to do is to put my gold as my sandy bit. Maybe I should use my glove on that first. Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's hope this is right. Oh well, it'll be a nice resin table, even if I've got some weirdo bits in it. Pretty sure it'll turn out nice. That's my sandy bit. I can add some of that gold fleck in there to make it even nicer, I guess. I'm going over the edge with that. Taking it over the edge. resin on the edge of my tabletop. That's beautiful. I don't know whether to, yeah, I think I will, you know. I'm just gonna go from one to the other and then I'll put some heat on it to 
spread it even further. That's beautiful with the gold in that green. Wow, that's beautiful. Really lovely. So I go over the side of my table top or whatever it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a tabletop. So nice resin tabletop. Over the edge. Colours are beautiful. Some of that lighter stuff in it. Right here, I better take my glove off while I heat heat gun this is a real McCoy one so oh You can actually see how once you're heating up the resin um, it obviously starts to move a lot easier. You've just got to make sure that you really do not keep that heat gun in one spot for very long. Obviously could you, you could burn the resin um, or have a little fire or something. But I think um, actually adding this white was just not the right thing. I um believe that I should have let that coat dry for about half an hour before I try coming in with the white to try and make a frothy ocean kind of thing. So I completely a novice's mistake here. Uh, and I'll definitely certainly try it again. I just really would like to have myself um, lessons in getting the ocean wave perfected. Uh, because I think I, I would love these colours exactly as they are, but me getting the ocean wave well. So I'm going to go in with some more gold now because I obviously see at this point in time that I'm not getting like an ocean effect on it, that I might as well just make it the blue azure, um, just a really nice attractive resin piece whether it be for a wall hanging or I think I definitely like it as a little tabletop um, so I'm just putting those extra bits in but the more you heat the resin up you know just going over the spots the more it you know plays nicely and moves about in your piece so you can sort of manipulate it quite a bit when you've got the resin warm but of course all this time you've got to be wearing a full face respirator because there's even though you don't feel it at the time, there are a lot of fumes coming from the resin with using the heat, heat especially. So I've finished blowing that as far as I want to now. So I really need to quickly use up the leftover resin. So I have these little bamboo chopping boards. So I think, oh, I'm gonna make, what I've made with these bamboo chop, uh, little boards in the past is um, house number, plate so you, I just use the resin and then you can stick a house number on and then a clear coat over you can use them for all sorts of things it's just a really easy and cheap um, house number like you know putting my son's number of his house on it and then he put it on his plaque on the front of his house or something like that um, you can also still use them as a chopping board um, you can have the nice attractive side on display and turn it over to the um, bamboo bit to use it as a chopping board. Uh, I'm also still got a bit left, so I'm putting it in one of those little, um, which not placemats, uh, you know, a cup holder um, mould. So I'm trying to, um, just use up every last bit of this resin that I have because you don't want to waste it so if you think you might have leftover resin then obviously get some uh, things available for you to use up your resin in 
So that's just just my little thing that I was merrily going away. I mean, my nice big plaque there doesn't look that crash hot, but it actually is. It's just stunning. So I've just literally finger painted or finger resined those little boards. And again, it looks nothing until your heat starts heating the resin up and it sort of melts into, um, and you can manipulate it with your heat gun. And it really, um, they really did turn out lovely how you will see in the end. So that is um, the end of my resin day. Oh, I still have a little bit of the uh, clear resin left. So I'm just about to put some um, pigment in with my resin to put in that little candle holder mold, which I'll take a photo of the finished product at, and display them at the end and put it in that. Um, if you want to see how the resin was mixed with the pigments then wait on till the end i've literally reversed this video instead of watching all the boring mixing at the beginning i missed that out but i have got it at the end if you are interested to see how i mix the pigments with the resin um, for those that are learning just like me i'm learning but just give it a go um, I'm just, I know that I am really, really happy with the end product. So it was worth a little day's venturing in resin for me. So there you go. I'm just pouring that last little bit of the white first into the resin mold. So it, it goes to literally to use it all up. So I hope that you found this interesting. And if you want to find out how to mix the resin, please hang on for the video at the end of, of those messy bits. Back to it, putting on nitrile, nitrile gloves, protect me from the resin. You should be wearing a face mask, protective um, clothing for sure. So I've got to this stage, I've let that paint dry. I just wanted to paint it. Now I'm going to use the Just Resin Diamond Coat, which is equal parts. So I'm going to make up 500 mils of resin so I need 250 of each each part so and then I'll add the one to the other so I've got 250 mils of one if I've got too much resin I will um, just use them in molds there is a calculator on this Just Resin site, I believe, to um, make up correct amounts. So this is the thick, the thickest, thick one. So I'm just making all the resin up and then I'll make it into ooh, the colours. So just absolutely make sure you've got everything ready before you start make, uh, mixing the two together. So, I'm gonna just leave that, grab my stirrer. These are silicon stirrers that a lady sent me. So you can just let the resin dry on them and then peel it off afterwards. The same with paint. 
and of course that won't sit because it's only in a one part so now <laughs> five minutes of hard labor mix up some resins now i'm going to use these little resin sticker sticks for the pigment and i'm going to start off with oh, what better one than surfs up by resin art luster pigment so i've got a mixture of resin here so i'll use a spoon of that maybe a spoon and a half of that uh, blue moon resin um turquoise bright gold on my beachy area um uh, ooh, hang on, I'll tell you what it is when I turn the duva over. Like I said, if I use more than I need, I'll make some little moulds up. I've also got another idea I would like to try. Actually like to try and dip a balloon in. <laughs> um, but that's um, something else. What, what else did I want to do? I wanted to try adding some of the white and I'm going to actually add some um, uh, alcohol ink. I haven't done this. I'm not a, a resiny person. Um, there's other people that concentrate more so on resins, but I really want to <coughs> have a go at this resin on this board to make into a table, maybe for my new art room. So, radio. what do I need? Those little stirring sticks. Now, I've been told not to use wood, but I think that's what I have to use because I haven't got enough. No, I have, I've got a few of these, so I'll try my silicon ones. Silicon stirrers. You don't want to waste any of this because resin is expensive. What am I doing? I'll tell you what, I'm a messy resinerer. I'm sure there's simpler ways of doing it easier than what I'm doing. So it's probably not a good example what I'm doing. But anyway, in for a penny. Let's give it a go. Oh. Crazy long process. I think I best do that right now. <laughs> so this is the finished and dry product. It turned out beautifully, that gold gold it just really looks like sand but I didn't obviously get my waves at all um, I think I'm gonna just give it another clear coat I'm gonna give it a light sand and a clear coat but it's absolutely lovely as oh, a wall art Hang on, I'll put it down on the table a wall art or a little side table which I think I'm gonna make it into but super duper really lovely effect uh, some of the leftover resin I poured into a little candle holder mold it's come out with a few holes on it it's probably just because I had air in the bottom of the mold because I was quickly doing it I did do the two um, trivets as well but really happy with that i'd love to do a huge big round one as a wall hanging because it's just so beautiful shine can't catch the shine can you on this also these are the trivets dry um i just didn't get an angle right with them but they are actually <laughs> look so much more beautiful in real life that was with my teapot on it because it's supposed to be waterproof well, that's all for now, folks. So I will say bye until tomorrow.